but the spud has been a fixture on Halifax's Spring Garden Road for almost five decades. But this year, the iconic food truck is on the move. I'm here in Dartmouth with co-owners Kyle Conrad and Kathleen Porter. So tell me about what happened. So basically the city uh, vends these spots through a blind bid process. Uh, we put in a bid this year that we thought was on par with our previous two years when we've been on Spring Garden Road and unfortunately it just wasn't enough. Someone outbid us and there's no countering. Once the bid comes back, that's it and there's nothing else that we can do. Now, would you have bid more had you known or was that your max that you wanted to put in? For sure. We would have, yeah, for sure. So what has been the reaction um, from folks when they found out you guys uh, weren't going to be where they'd usually find you? We've had a huge response, uh, mostly in support of us, saying that they'll come to wherever we are, which we're very grateful for. Um, a few people, I think, may have misunderstood the bidding process, uh, but we want everyone to know we would be there if we could. Uh, but we're also taking this as an opportunity to travel a bit more around the city and ex expand our clientele. Now, you're relatively new owners of uh, past couple of years of this uh, truck. Why did you want to be part of Bud the Spud? Uh, I think it's just been a part of Halifax's heritage. Uh, it's, um, you would say, like... Um, a true icon. A true Institute. icon, yeah. An institution. And we went there as kids. We wanted to get a food truck. We noticed that this one was up for sale. Uh, we just took a shot in the dark and uh, never been more happy. And what's your background in terms of food? Uh, so both of us have been in the service industry for many years, usually uh, serving and bartending, but Kyle has a culinary background himself. Yep. Well, well what is it about the fries that, that people gravitate to? Is it beyond nostalgia? Is there something of a secret recipe in the fries? Uh, I mean, I think it's that paper bag feeling, the golden crispy fries, PEI potatoes. Uh, everything's local, you know, and I think it's just the time and care that you put into them, right, that most people don't do. Well, talk to me about driving around. This is going to be, you know, some gas and, and different um, expenses. It's, are you working that into everything? We are. We always had the drive to Spring Garden. We live a little bit outside of the city, so it's not going to be a whole lot different for us this year, so we have accounted for it. And, and how is the truck for traveling? It's pretty good. Uh, better than ever. This Kyle's year. laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might drive it a little bit more, actually. Uh, but it's better this sure. year. We took it to a family member over the winter who sort of took his time working on it. He's a diesel mechanic. We're very thankful for that. Um, so it's, it's up to scratch and good for the road. Now, what about next year? Are you guys planning ahead to, to maybe a return to Spring Garden Road? If it becomes available, I believe the bidding process is a five-year tender, right? So if we have the opportunity to be there next year, we would love to be there. That's kind of our home, right? So, you know, we've been there the past couple of years ourselves, and we've, we miss those people. But, um, you know, we're also looking forward to a year where we can bop around and show love around the city. So you said it, it's a five-year tender. So does that mean you couldn't return there for, for quite a while, or do you hope uh, another spot on Spring Garden opens up? Well, it depends on whether or not the person who has it this year decides to go back. Um, you know, if it works out for them, I'm sure they will. Um, but if not, then, you know, we would try again, of course. Any idea who's going in that spot? We don't know. We don't get notified. All we get is a letter saying that our bid wasn't the highest. Uh, we've driven by the spot a couple times just to check it out and see who's there, and they, they aren't open yet as far as we know. Okay. And best of luck, best of luck to them. Absolutely. Like, we have no hard feelings to no, whoever bid on it. It's not their fault uh, at all. It's a great opportunity for them. So Yeah. All right, so we're here at Nine Locks in Dartmouth, but where else are you going to be uh, around the summertime? So we're at Nine Locks consistently. We're also in Lower Sackville, right on Sackville Drive consistently, and Fairview. Uh, Bud the Spud's actually been doing Fairview for the past about seven years, so we're continuing that tradition on Sundays. We also do quite a lot of private events uh, and festivals, Cavendish Beach Music Festival, uh, Great Outdoor Comedy Festival, so you can always follow us on Instagram and Facebook to find us. So Wanderers Games as well. You can catch us at all the Wanderers Games, so... Well, it sounds like a busy summer, even if you're not on Spring Garden. So, uh, best of luck. Thank, Thank you very you much. so much. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you.